Hello, and welcome to another Fantasy Film Friday. I do know my days of the week, however, I did uh, have a little bit of an issue last week, so I was unable to upload last week on Friday, so we're doing a little mid-equalization and meeting somewhere in the middle and doing my video today because a lot of news has dropped about the new Beauty and the Beast film in just the past 24 hours. Did we just get the trailer? No, we not only got a brand new and final trailer for the film, but we also got a novelization of the film over a month before the film is due out. Which is something that is actually kind of unprecedented. Usually when a novelization of a film comes out, it comes out maybe a week early. Usually a little sooner than that so that things are not spoiled. There will be a few spoilers in this review so I'm going to review the trailer first and then I'm going to review the book so if you decide that you do not want to know any details about the film that you have not seen in the trailers please stop the video after the trailer review. Now the trailer was incredible it's even more beautiful than I could have imagined it's my favorite trailer of the three that have been released. From the visuals to the jokes that are made, this trailer has everything you could hope for in a Beauty and the Beast trailer. I actually teared up so much, and I know I've said that before, and I'm gonna cry throughout this film. This, this film, I know it has gotten a lot of hate that a lot of of diehard fans are not excited about it, but I am the biggest Beauty and the Beast fan you'll ever meet. I know everything there is to know about it, at least the Disney version. Don't quote me on, like, every version of Beauty and the Beast now. I'm just talking about Disney, okay? But this is an incredible, incredible looking film. It's gorgeous. It is taking live action Disney to a whole new level and giving it a look that is completely unique. I know that people gave Bill Condon shit because he's one of the Twilight directors, but let me tell you something. He did some gorgeous, the cinematography, especially in the village alone, I, it looks like a living painting. It's gorgeous. I'm a little disappointed that the village doesn't have just Belle in her blue outfit. There are little hints of blue in other characters, but I can do, I can deal with that. I can, I can live with that. Cause Dawn had me dying when he's talking about like how, you know, you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you. And then you look and he's looking in the mirror. That is just so guest on and everybody is just having the time of their life with this film. This was clearly a passion project made by people who love the original and wanted to do it justice but give it its own flavor and I applaud them for that. Emma Watson, gorgeous uh, a sweet innocence of someone who wants more but hasn't really lived her life Dan Stevens as the beast. It's hard because when I listen to him talk, I don't hear the beast. Like I've I've watched him do interviews and you know I, it, it's uh, Robbie Benson who was the original voice of the beast always sounded like the beast and then he and then he'll like all of a sudden throw on that go ahead and starve voice and it's it's not much different than his normal voice but then you know you all of a sudden hear that get out that Dan Stevens does uh, in the West Wing and you're like there's the beast <laughs> and everybody looks amazing Kevin Klein, you are just a dream and I, I love the humor that's being brought in it's not over the top or slapsticky as could have been made with this film like with her hitting uh, Lumiere with the stool and things like that. It, it sounds, it, it's just very, very intricate. It's very beautiful. Ari, Ariana Grand, Grande, Gra, Grande, Gra, Grande, um, singing Beauty and the Beast with John Legend. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, it's, 
I, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Ariana. I think she's a great actress and a great singer. She doesn't get to do either as much as I, I like to hope. Well, she does music a lot, but her acting isn't around as much anymore since she left Nickelodeon. But I do enjoy her some of her music. So I can take it or leave it. But <laughs> damn girl. I mean, this was just next level this was Celine Dion level and see Celine Dion is coming back for the soundtrack for a new song and that I cannot wait for you don't even know it's like everything is lining up for this film and I can guarantee that it's going to be number one at the box office for at least a month honestly this is just top notch I'm going to be seeing the film with uh, my comic con the night before it actually premieres on Thursday night um, hopefully me and my fiance now are going to be getting tickets and I'm so excited for that. Um, and that was some other new news. That was another reason I wasn't around last week. I actually got engaged last Saturday. I was planning a photo shoot. Uh, I have a bell cosplay that's based on Emma Watson's bell and I was planning a photo shoot for a Saturday and that took basically all day Saturday just getting the outfit on is like a workout by itself I mean I, I, I applaud Emma for being able to move around as much as she does in that outfit because it is hard okay um and my fia my wonderful boyfriend now fiance asked uh proposed to me uh, he was wearing a Beast Disney Bound. If you guys don't know what Disney Bounding is, look, look it up. It's a lot of fun. Uh, he had a nice blue shirt on with a gold tie. Uh, very, um, I kind of emulated Soundproof Liz and her boyfriend. She's on YouTube. Uh, they did a uh, Beauty and the Beast Disney Bound, and I kind of took some ideas from his Disney Bound as the Beast. And I'll link their YouTube uh, down below of that because... That's really gorgeous, and you should check it out if you're a Beauty and the Beast fan. They're really amazing Disney bounders, and I love them. Make sure to comment and tell them that I sent you. But it was just absolutely, you know, amazing. He had an enchanted rose, and it was incredible. So I am engaged, and it was such an amazing time. But that's not what we're here for. Um... Uh, um but yeah, it was an incredible, incredible trailer. I I am so excited for this film. I don't think I could be more excited for the film than if you know it were coming out tomorrow. I honestly, it, March. I I've been saying this since I found out this film was coming out. This cannot happen any sooner. I will be first in line to buy the DVD. I will be first in line to see it in theaters. And I will be there dressed as freaking Belle. So I'm entirely excited and I hope you guys are too. Now, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you don't want to know anything extra that you haven't seen in the trailer, turn off the video now. But make sure to hit the subscribe and like button if you want to see more from Till the Last Credit. Um, so, the Beauty and the Beast movie novelization came out last night. I actually got to read it a little early for my time because I'm in the mountains. Uh, and it dropped at 10.30 because East Coast already had it. So, okay... I have not read the entire book. Uh, I ended up falling asleep because it was late, but I read about halfway, so that tells you how quick a read it is, but I am a fast reader, so it might be a little bit longer for some people, but it's a pretty quick read. It's it's actually more of a, you know, young adult. Mm, I, I think someone young could still kind of read it, maybe like 10 if they're reading starting to read chapter books the chapters are really quick so you can be fairly young and read the book um it <laughs> you can tell where the songs are gonna go I'll say that because it's like kind of obvious um you know it's um it's it's good. It's good. It, it's very uh, it's very true to the source. There's very little different. I'm a little disappointed because, um, and I even wrote about this back, you know, when this was announced. Belle's supposed to be the inventor, and her dad just kind of makes music boxes. No shame in that. Music boxes are amazing. I love them. Um, they don't uh, so far don't really touch on that. 
And that kind of disappointed me because that was like a big thing when it came out was that she was going to be an inventor. And even when novelizations come out, I remember Suicide Squad, the novelization was very different than the film, than what they got. Um, I don't see, especially because the runtime is going to be double the runtime of what the original film was almost. I don't see them taking much out of it so far that we that I haven't read. It honestly is pretty um, step for step the uh, the original film with some stuff added in. Some things I did like that they added in was that the, they kind of explain why there's so many extra people. Turns out that when the beast uh, was transformed, he was having this like grand ball, which is what I think we're seeing some of in the trailer with the white care, uh, white outfits and everything. And some of the um, outfits that we see in the posters, I'm starting to wonder if they're not necessarily the celebration outfits at the end, but actually from the ball at the beginning because um, they're all kind of doing this mass ball and it's very glamorous and all that and um, there's a, a huge storm that happens outside and the enchanter shows up and the, the and, and he doesn't answer the door I like that because <laughs> that always bothered me the doors kind of just fly open and the enchantress shows up uh, in her haggard form and he says, you know, you're not welcome. This place is beautiful. You're uh, an ugly thing like you are not welcome here because everything in his castle has to be beautiful, has to be, you know, on point. OK, and by the way, Beast's name is not Adam because guess what? Not even in the novel is his name Adam. They only ever call him the prince or the beast. They never call him anything else. The poster says the the prince. The poster says the beast. Stop telling me his name is Adam. I know I haven't gotten any comments so far on my videos and please if you want to comment and you know tell me information or tell me about what you want to hear please feel free to comment. I love talking to people and I would love to get input. But uh, I write for Movie Pilot, and I cannot tell you how many people were trying to tell me when I posted the posters that his name is Adam. I will uh, leave that link in the comment below so you can check out the posters, too, if you have not yet. Um, because you get to see what the beast looks like as a human. If you want to leave that as a surprise, because I was kind of disappointed. I didn't want to see that. And um, kind of disappointed in what he looks like, too. Uh, do not click on the link, but if you do want to check it out and you haven't gotten a chance to yet, go ahead and follow that little link down below, okay? But, <laughs> um, so the Enchanter, she comes in, it's storming, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, well, you're not welcome. She's like, well, looks are deceiving, and boom, she's gorgeous. Um, and she says he's going to get changed. He's and so he gets changed and everybody else is changed and it's this big thing. He had like Cardenza isn't actually part of the court like uh, Forte was back in Enchanted Christmas. He and his wife, who was actually the wardrobe, who's played by the wonderful Audrey McDonald, who is a gorgeous, wonderful, wonderful Broadway star. Um, are actually visiting. She's an opera star and he is a composer. Kind of a bit of a phantom of the opera thing going on there, let me just say. But, and very forward thinking of them casting who they cast for that. Because back then that might have been a little bit risky. And no offense meant, but it, it's, you know, times, you know. Uh, they are changing, you know what I mean? But I digress very interesting um another thing that was kind of cool was that Gaston's a war hero and he's a little bit actually older and I kind of get that from the cartoon too that he's a little bit older than everybody because he, he went to war 12 years ago and oddly enough so did LeFou because LeFou never left his side so it like it makes a point in the novel to say he's a war hero a lot so I hope they don't like 
N- uh, and I have a lot of, you know, military friends. Will was in the military, but, um, you know, I, I... <sighs> You know, I hope they don't try to use that as a way to, like, excuse him, because there is no excuse for his actions. He's kind of a dick, even in the novel. Um, but, you know, so uh, so far, he just, it's it's war hero, and he's uh, he's kind of stuck in that, that he did this stuff in the war. And Belle's like, okay, but the, he, the war was, like, 12 years ago. Let it go. You know, she doesn't say let it go, because, you know, frozen. But, um... It, she it's kind of gotten to the point where she's done with it everybody's done with it you know everybody's loving him but she's done with it they um bell and her father did come from paris so they're not originally from there she lost her mother before she even knew her it's hard to tell whether or not she you know lost her during childbirth or if she lost her like she was just sick um the beast it turns out that his mother died when he was very very young he was a very happy and wonderful child but when his mother died his father was very cold and heartless so he became that way um so that's why his part of the portrait's all torn up the father's side of the portrait's all torn up while his mother is left alone in the west wing um the the castle is set in like so and it and here was another really really cool thing so there's like this guy in the village that is kind of perceived as crazy kind of like Belle and Maurice are perceived as crazy but like he he says like there was a castle that went missing but part of the spell was that everybody who went missing in the castle was just and the castle itself was just forgotten and the only way to get to the castle it's like this very very small road that like doesn't appear to you unless I guess the spell wants you to to see it so oh my like I thought that was so clever and then the castle is always cloaked in winter so you know Maurice is going and telling them it's snowing and it's it's a storm and I got caught in the storm and they're like it's the middle of June What, what are you talking about so you know Gaston takes him and is like oh yeah I'll help you and then decides to you know and was going to blackmail him so that he could marry Belle but he's like this isn't worth the trouble he le- he throws him out of his carriage it's just this whole crazy thing and then Belle's just you know stuck in the tower then the the everybody's uh, you know the the Cogsworth and Lumiere take her to the room without permission It's a whole big thing, and it's kind of obvious where, you know, they're going to be doing um, montages and when they're going to be doing songs because they they show, it basically just says, oh, she did this, this, and this, listing off stuff without really listing, if you know what I mean. And it's it's a really quick read. So it's like, okay, this is where something there is going to be. This is where maybe a new song will be. This is where they're very obvious about where be our guest is like it literally has some of the lyrics in the description and everything so that's not even a question but it's it's really interesting where i left off was kind of they they they've been to the library and everything so now they're just kind of getting to know each other and everything and the beast is a little cheeky. He's a little adorable. He's like, you know, oh, some of it's in Greek. I haven't read it. And it's in the trailer. You've seen it. Um, so it's 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 an interesting story. I've got about an hour left of reading to do, according to the book time. So it's about maybe two or three hours of reading time if you're a quick reader. Otherwise, you might be, yeah, it might take a little bit longer, but no more than an afternoon or a morning whenever you read it, if you take some time to just sit down and read. Um, it's an interesting book so far. I don't know if I recog- I, 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 I wouldn't say I don't recommend it, but I'm a little bit older, so I wouldn't say I recommend it to anyone who isn't d- die hard or a little bit younger, like you know 10 to 16 you know uh, early to you know um not quite beginner chapters because i i it's hard for me to 
decipher that because I was a big reader when I was growing up. So not to brag, but I was a big reader when I was growing up. So it's hard for me to like pinpoint what other people might be able to read. But I'd say 10 if you're a chapter reader, it would be okay to read. Maybe nine. Um, and because the chapters are literally like maybe four or five pages. Uh, I'm on like chapter 12 and I'm halfway through the book. So that should kind of give you an idea of what I'm, you know, kind of reading. Um, but it's really enjoyable. I love it. I'm probably going to finish it as soon as I'm done this video. But I hope you guys pick it up. If you do, please let me know. I know this was a little bit different because I was talking about the book, but as the book is a tie-in to the film, I thought it might be a little bit interesting to talk about. But let me know what you think about the trailer. I'm going to include it in the video, so stay tuned for that. And if you want me to talk about anything else, I know I've been focusing a lot about Beauty and the Beast. Like I said, it was my favorite Disney film growing up, so I'm sorry. But with all the new information that came out, it was kind of the focus of everything, but next week we will talk about something new. Please feel free to comment below and let me know if there's anything that you would prefer for me to talk about, anything new, any new information, any facts that you would like to hear about films or books that films are based on. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and if you didn't like the video, let me know why so I can improve. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a lovely and fantastical day. My dear Belle, you're so ahead of your time. This is a small village. You are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you. And it's small-minded as well. But small also means safe. I will escape, I promise. Look, a girl. Who said that? Hello. <gasps> you can talk. Hello, of course. It's all he ever does. How lovely to make your acquaintance. Want to see me do a trick? What happens when the last petal falls? The Mastel remains a beast forever. And we become antiques. What did you do to it? Nothing. Get out of here! Go! You have to help me. You have to stand. If she is the one who'll break the spell, you must finally learn to love. Tell us all the time. Have you really read every one of these books? No, some of them are in Greek. True as it can be.